This video will quickly demonstrate how easy it is to connect any of your DocVerify library documents to any of your WooFoo forms. This video will not focus on how to set up the custom text fields in your PDF documents. Please refer to the DocVerify WooFoo documentation found in the DocVerify Developers Portal for more information. Before we start, you will need to have a DocVerify account edition that supports this feature, and you will also have to have a WooFoo account. Next, you will need to have created a PDF document with your custom smart tag fields or custom PDF text fields. Again, please refer to the DocVerify Developers Portal for more information about how the smart tags work. The Developers Portal could be found by going to www.docverify.com, then going to the company link, and then clicking on the Developers link. So let's begin. After you have successfully signed in to DocVerify, click the Add New button. Now we're going to upload our document. Click on this link named Add New Document to Library. After the pop-up loads, simply select a file, give your document a name, and check this box if you want DocVerify to read the smart tags in your document. Then click Add Template when finished. After you have uploaded your document, the system will give you an instant link found here. But you can always get to your library documents or templates by either clicking this link labeled Add Modify Signature Elements, or by clicking the eSignatures radio button, then checking the checkbox Select a Document for My Library for eSign, and then clicking the last link for each document in the list labeled either Signer or Not Set. Let's go ahead and just click on the Signer link for the document we just uploaded. After the page loads, let's go ahead and scroll down the page a little, where we find the link named Create External Connectors. Simply click on this link and a new pop-up will open. Let's select WooFoo from the list. This interface will help you create an exact WooFoo webhook URL you will need to make a connection to DocVerify from WooFoo. This interface currently allows for two options. You can select to also sign the document if you need to sign it, and you can select to sign it first if you like. Other options may be added in the future. For this demo, we will not select these options. Below the options is the handshake key you will need for WooFoo and the generated text area where the URL for the webhook is located. Now let's go to WooFoo. Again, this demo will only cover the integration portion and you will have to refer to the DocVerify WooFoo documentation for a complete step-by-step -step explanation on how to create a PDF document with the proper text fields. After you have signed into WooFoo, go to the Forms Manager page. Simply click on the notification icon on any of your WooFoo forms. After the notification page loads, go to the Add Another Application section. Simply select Webhook from the list and click Add Integration when finished. We're now going to copy and paste the data from the DocVerify WooFoo interface directly into WooFoo. First, copy the URL from the DocVerify generated text window and paste it into the WooFoo text box named Your Webhook URL, just like this. Next, we're going to copy the handshake key from DocVerify and paste it directly into the text box named Your Webhook Handshake Key on WooFoo. And last, you must 
check this box named Include Form and Field Structure with Entry Data and click Save when finished. That's it. Your WooFoo form is now connected to your Doc Verified Library template document. Again, this video did not go over how to create and set up your custom text fields or custom Doc Verify smart tags, which is required to properly take in the data collected from your WooFoo forms and merging it to your Doc Verified Library documents. Please refer to the smart tags documentation and the Doc Verify WooFoo documentation found on the Doc Verify Developers Portal. This now concludes this demonstration.